Hi folks, this quick start guide is intended to show you everything you need to do to set up FS traffic for the first time in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We intend for this guide to be as succinct as possible, so for further information on anything shown in this video, please refer to the FS traffic manual that we have linked in the description box below. Step 1 is to install FS traffic. If you have purchased FS Traffic from JustFlight.com or any other third party retailer, you will need to download and install both FS Traffic installers. One installer is for the core FS Traffic files, the other is for the FS Traffic fleet of aircraft and liveries. If you have purchased FS Traffic through the in game marketplace, there is only one installer for the entire package, and this can be installed through the in game content manager. Step 2 is to open Microsoft Flight Simulator and go to Options, General Options, Traffic and set the traffic options per our recommended settings as shown on the screen. The important options here are you must set the aircraft traffic type to off and the ground aircraft density to zero if you would like to only see the FS traffic flights generated in the simulator. If these are set to anything else then you will see generic default aircraft generated in the simulator. We would also recommend reducing all other options in this menu if you would like to increase general performance in the simulator. Step 3 is to go to the world map, select your departure airport and start a flight. Once loaded into the aircraft, step 4 is to open the FS traffic in game menu and enter the 4 letter ICAO code of the airport you are flying to and then press confirm. Once the confirm button is pressed, the destination has been locked into the FS traffic module and it can only be changed if you manually enter a new destination and the confirm button is pressed again. It is important to remember that the FS traffic module needs to know your destination airport in order for traffic to generate at your destination. The FS traffic setup is now complete and traffic will be visible throughout your flight. We will now cover an alternative option for setting your destination airport. Return into the main menu, select your departure and destination airports, and then start a flight. Once loaded into the aircraft, open the FS traffic in-game menu and wait for the destination airport to automatically populate in the field. This field updates approximately every 10 seconds, so it can take up to 10 seconds for the destination to show, but as soon as the destination airport is visible in this field, that means the destination airport will have been set in the FS traffic module, and you do not even need to press the confirm button. Once the FS traffic module has detected your destination, this field will automatically populate in both methods shown in this video, so opening the in-game menu can be a useful reminder to see if you have already set the destination. Once the destination has been set in the in-game menu, the menu can be closed and it does not need to be opened again unless you want to change your destination or remove or regenerate the traffic. If you ever need to divert to an alternate airport, you can manually input the ICAO code of the alternate airport and then press confirm. We hope this quick start guide has been useful for getting you up to speed with FS traffic. If you need any further assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out via JustFlight support or the JustFlight forums, and we will be more than happy to help.